What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the program. Welcome back to the show. Here we go. What do we have? We have Atmosphere. Atmosphere is a rap duo consisting of Ant, Anthony Davis, I think his name is. He is the producer for this group who have been making music for over 20 years at this point. I think their first album came out in 1997, something like that. Uh, and they've been a mainstay, a staple in my playlist for a very long time. Their music has evolved a huge amount. You know, these these men grew up, they evolved, they changed. Uh, and their music always reflects that wherever they are in their lives. And music and albums in general are an interesting conundrum and medium because they can serve as a time capsule sometimes, a reflection of that moment, a reflection of that time. Of course, there's conceptual albums, and those are telling as well. This definitely seems to be a conceptual album. I'm not sure what's going on with the cover art here. We have a, uh, a woman with a, an owl. But yeah, um, Ant is the producer. He does all the music, all of the pr production. Uh, he's fantastic at sampling. He, he makes nasty drums. He... Yeah, he, he, his drum programming is fantastic. He's produced for Brother Ali. Uh, you know, he, he's produced for so many artists under the Rhyme Series banner. And they've released so much amazing music over the years. They've definitely been, yeah, a mainstay for me. I've heard that this album is a departure for them. Uh, a departure in sound. Um, an evolution. Um, at least something entirely different. And it's interesting because they released it yesterday and it's titled the day before halloween today's halloween so um it's very measured and deliberate in terms of the response and release date so let's have a listen to this the first track on the album is where the road forks i don't know if that's a little freudian slip like this is literally where our music departs from the last uh few albums which i've enjoyed um i know a lot of people think there's a big decline and they don't like what Slug raps are about now, but uh, I've found his comfortability and his dad rap to be endearing. Yeah. So let's get to this. Where the road forks. Anthony. Those synths are disgusting, man. Disgustingly good. I feel like I'm watching a John Carpenter film. Or something from uh, The Breakfast Club or the 80s. Very, very 80s. inside of somebody else's dream I'm trying to fish for some faith that this ain't what it seemed I mean I might have seen them clouds even felt some rain my eyes are open like a window that's surrounded by pain <laughs> my eyes are open like a window surrounded by pain a little simple wordplay thrown in there uh, I kind of wish that I was in somebody else's dream this is certainly so different it, it's very 80s inspired clearly those synths are just incredible, actually. I really enjoy this. It, it feels like the opening credits of like a 1983 John Carpenter film almost. Um, this is really cool that, that they've done this experimental thing and, and changed up the style. I like this so far. So far, I like it. 
I kind of wish I was inside of somebody else's dream I'm trying to fish for some faith that this ain't what it seemed I mean, I might have seen them clouds, even felt some rain My eyes are open like a window that's surrounded by pain I know sometimes I don't articulate myself right, right? Maybe it coincides with how we hear ourselves, right, right? I won't tell you that you're supposed to help fight, right? But I've got that shelf life if you want to know what that hell like the knife is open, you're holding it up to your throat. Tail lights broken, they don't know cause you're pulling a boat. Only take what you need, everything else gets left. But if we gotta die tonight, I might take a couple extra breaths. Sluggo, you're... You know, Slug, he's had the same cadence for like the past three, four albums. And he doesn't rap fast anymore, really. That was exhilarating to hear that. He sounds like he's reinvigorated. Sluggo, man. Love it. Love it. Like the night that is so You're holding it up to your throat. Ah. Tail lights broken. They don't know because you're pulling a boat. Only take what you need. Everything else gets left. But if we got to die tonight, I might take a couple extra breaths. I've never been a born loser. Time got no remorse. Watch over those stormtroopers, they'll force you to use force. But still Watch over them stormtroopers, they'll force you to use force. A little Star Wars reference. Um, but essentially taking aim at dic dictator-like um, regimes, tyrannical forces, totalitarian... Ism, totalitarianism, attaboy sluggo. Only take what you need, everything else gets left. But if we gotta die tonight, I might take a couple extra breaths. I've never been a born loser, time got no remorse. Watch over those stormtroopers, they'll force you to use force. But you still try to hold the tears, poker face, show no fear. Lost in space, solar flare, don't really care if the coast is clear. I'm making motions, I hope it's enough to get home. This lake is frozen, cold as fuck if you sit on a throne. Only give what you can, and try not to overextend. But if we gotta die tonight, I don't wanna make any more friends. This train is ours, we should be tagging and writing. This pain was power, now we got jobs in advertising. But you're still trying to hold the torch. Of course we took no shorts with a hand-drawn map and some rose quartz. You can meet me at where the road forks. First track, two thumbs up, man. Wow. That was an entirely amazing departure from the sound that they've been developing the past few records. And I think they did get into a bit of a complacency with their music. And Ant's production is always fantastic. And they always have um, at least two or three songs that go into my rotation. You know, I'm thinking of Delicate off of... Uh, me Vida Loco and uh, Virgo, songs like that, and, and offer whenever, um, 
what do I like off whenever? Uh, I really like Postal Lady and um, Romance is Good and uh, Love Each Other. But they've also kind of lulled a little bit creatively. This is something entirely new, a new evolution. It's darker, but also really hopeful. The synths are incredible. I, I love the production here. I'm going to see how this develops and how it maintains its flow throughout the entire record. I'm going to see if Ant keeps uh, these synths as the main progression of these beats. And Sluggo sounds re reinvigorated a little bit. The, you know, you, you heard him talk, pain, pain was power, pain was our power. Now we have uh, jobs in advertising. I'm not sure if he's referring to themselves, how their original albums were reflections of their painful life, not necessarily painful life, but, you know, they were reflections of this pain, like, you know, portrait of an artist type stuff. This is it, it, like, yeah, something entirely new, different. Very, very interesting. Love it. What a piece of music. What a piece of music. Way to go. Attaboy. I like it, Sluggo. Keep this up. All right. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Damn, that was really refreshing. I'm excited now to listen to the rest of this. All right, peace out.